In former Governor Cuomo's words, his attempt to defend himself from the sexual harassment allegations made by nearly a dozen women has been made public. It includes his emotional insistence that the allegation he groped a female aide simply never happened. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with the story. Marsha? Well, Dana, it's the ultimate he said, she said story that could very well end up being played out in an Albany courtroom. Former aide Brittany Camiso went to authorities with her tale of being manhandled by Andrew Cuomo in the executive mansion. But he says the incident, to quote the former governor, is just not even feasible. He put his hand up my blouse and cupped my breast over my bra. I exactly remember looking down, seeing his hand, which is a large hand, thinking to myself, oh my God, this is happening. Brittany Camiso made the accusation not only to investigators for Attorney General Tish James, but to the Albany County Sheriff, who ended up bringing charges against the former governor for forcible touching. But to Cuomo, who was grilled for 11 often combative hours about allegations he sexually harassed nearly a dozen women, Camiso's tale is just that, a tale. That never happened, Cuomo told investigators. You know, at one point, there has to be a little reality. To touch a woman's breast who I hardly know in the mansion, with 10 staff around, with my family in the mansion, to say, I don't care who sees us, I would have to lose my mind to do such a thing. It would be an act of insanity to touch a woman's breast and make myself vulnerable to a woman for such an accusation. I am 63 years old. I have been in every public office, state, federal. Numerous people have tried to set me up. I'm always wary of people. I have phenomenal precautions. I mean, it's just not even feasible. This is the first time we've heard Cuomo's actual testimony. It was released by Attorney General Letitia James, whose investigation led Cuomo to resign as governor on August 10th. Cuomo's 515-page deposition was released, along with the transcripts of 11 women who testified against him. But the most damning, because it could lead to a misdemeanor conviction, was Brittany Camiso's. She also said that Cuomo touched other parts of her body while she was taking this selfie. I then felt, while taking the selfie, his hand go down my back onto my butt, and he started rubbing it, not sliding it, not, you know, quickly brushing over it, rubbing my butt. The governor was asked at length about his penchant for kissing people. There are many pictures of him kissing people at various public events. He says it's usually on the cheek, but he may have kissed staffers on the lips at staff parties or birthdays. He was also asked, have you ever lied down on a couch with your head on the lap of a staffer? I have laid down on the couch often because I have a bad back. But insisted Cuomo, I'll put my hand behind my head to sort of prop it up. Como also made it clear he didn't care for the investigator hired by James, June Kim, a deputy under former U.S. Attorney Preet Barrera, who previously investigated the Cuomo administration and led the prosecution of Joe Prococo, the governor's longtime aide who he once described as Mario Cuomo's third son. I mean, the concept of you as the resolution to the conflict as an independent reviewer is bizarre to me and raises ethical and legal questions, Cuomo said. Now, Cuomo left the interview with a parting shot at June Kim. I would like to say it was a pleasure, Mr. Kim, Cuomo said, but I'm under oath. Marsha, have we heard from the former governor? Has he said anything? Response. Well, as a matter of fact, Dana, uh, just moments ago, a Cuomo spokesman released a statement slamming the attorney general, charging that the transcripts include questionable redactions and raise even more questions about key omissions, which he said reeks of prosecutorial misconduct. And he called it a slanted process. Marcia, thank you very much. Uh, you can read the full 515-page transcript on CBSNewYork.com.